What's going on YouTube? You're chilling with Trainers Abza, and today we are here for a UU battle versus Young Sapling. Um, looking at my opponent's team, he's got a Reg Ice. Uh, I think that thing is NU, but you know what? I never underestimate Reg Ice. Ever since I see answer ever ever since I saw um, Done Deal use a Reg Ice with Gravity Set and how effective that was, that was th that was just so amazing. It was so powerful. So now I never know never to underestimate Reg Ice. He's got a Haxorus, which has dropped down to UU recently, or at least I think this gen. Uh, mainly because of fairy types, but you know, it's still very powerful, still very threatening. Starmie, another Pokemon that dropped down to U. Like, a lot of his Pokemon are Pokemon that dropped down to UU. Like, half his team, I think. Because Starmie was UU, I th or was OU, I think, and has dropped to UU. Uh, I think because of knockoff. And Fortress, to set up hazards, has dropped down to UU, and I think that's because it lost its uh, type resistance to Dark and Ghost. He's got a Scrafty, which I absolutely, I don't like Scrafties, I really don't. Uh, I just, they, I've had bad experiences, they Dragon Dance, they've got Moxie, they just set up on your face and kill you. And finally a Crobat, I'm going to assume it's Defog Crobat, but you'll see that in the battle. Speaking of which, let's get to it. So my opponent today is Young Sapling, whom we set up this battle through Skype. He's going to start off with my Crobat as I start off with my Cookies. We both pretty much have the same idea here, I'm guessing trying to get off the Volt Switch or the U-Turn to try and get the Switch Initiative on the other person. However, this doesn't work out for him because I have the Volt Switch, I'm going to be able to get off the damage first as he goes for a U-Turn, but I'm able to switch into my Physical Defensive Empoleon to take the hit. It's not very effective anyway, and it does pretty much no damage. And I think I'm actually going to get back to 100% after Leftovers. But he's going to bring in his Fortress. I'm guessing to set up Hazards and Volt Switch out. Uh, my initial thing was Hazards, but for all I know, he actually could be carrying Volt Switch. Uh, but I go for the Scald and get the Burn, thankfully, as he goes for his Rocks. Uh, in this upcoming turn, I'm going to be able to exchange Rocks with him. I considered going for Defog, but here's the thing. For some reason, I was like convinced that his Crobat was the one that had Defog the entire battle. But he, he had three Pokemon that could have Defog or Rapid Spin, so I don't know why I was convinced it was Crobat. But uh, he's going to bring in his Scrafty on the Volt Switch. Um, this isn't exactly a good, uh, this isn't a good situation for me because it can just go for the fighting type move. Uh, I switch into my Lilo Puppy, my Gramble, to get off the Intimidate, and, you know, Gramble can take Scrafty one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I'm not sure, I think they might run Iron Head, but the Intimidate, uh, still drops its attack. So, uh, it's physically defensive Gramble, it can take it anyway. Uh, but he knocks off my Leftovers, which, uh, gets rid of my recovery, but doesn't matter because I'm Rest Sleep Talk set. Um, I go for the play rough as he switches into his fortress to resist the hit. I'm also guessing he's physically defensive, but the, uh, since it's so naturally bulky and Gramble doesn't, it may have a good attack stat, but it's not invested. It probably, yeah, I, there's just no way for me to tell right now. As he goes for the driver ball, the burn would have done nothing, but just in case I go into my kingpin and I'm, I want to get off a defog here, but I think he's going to set up rocks. Um, well, the problem is he can set up rocks. So I do go for the Defog, as he's going to go for the Volt Switch. Um, I do want to try and set up my Rocks again, but uh, the important thing is that I make sure that that Fortress goes down before it has the opportunity to set the Rocks up again. Or if he does set up the Rocks again, I make got to make sure I'm in to Defog them away. So he brings in Starmie, and the way he brought it in, I'm almost convinced it has Thunderbolt. They usually carry it anyway. So I go into my Nightmare, my uh, Umbreon, to tank the hit. It does pretty much nothing. And I'm going to go for Foul Play to try and knock it out. Usually, uh, Umbreon's tr just Toxic Stall stuff, but because I have Heal Bell on Granbull, I have an extra slot open for Umbreon, so I can run Wish Protect and Foul Play along with Toxic, so that way I'm not just limited to Toxic damage. Uh, he's going to bring in his Scrafty, good choice on his part, as I switch back into my Lilo Puppy, because Lilo Puppy can do anything. It can take on this scra this, uh Scrafty one-on-one, -on -one, and there's nothing it can do to, to Lilo Puppy. I'm sorry, I keep saying Lilo Puppy like that because it's my Lilo Puppy. I love my Lilo Puppy. Okay, you guys are getting annoyed with that. I'll try and stop. I will. I'll make a conscious effort to try and stop. Uh, but I go for the play rough. He switches into Fortress, but um, he ends up going for Stealth Rocks. I go for another play rough just to finish him off, not so he wouldn't get up his rocks, but that doesn't end up working in my favor because he, well, I miss and he gets his rocks up anyway. Anyway, he goes into his... Um, his, uh, what's this thing called again? Haxorus. And that was actually a confusing play on his part, because I 
Well, I was like, I got the play rough, you know? But the poison jab is enough for a two-hit KO without the intimidate drop. So I'm going to have to go into my cookies, my Rotom, to try and tank the hit. Um, I could have probably gone into Empoleon, but I did not know if this thing was choice or not, and I know they can carry Earthquake. So I decided to go into Rotom just as a safe middle ground, because I know that Rotom has decent enough base defenses that I could do that. Uh, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp here instead of a trick, but because I don't know what it was going to do, and I would have rather had it burned than anything else. But I'm going to get an opportunity to go into my Kingpin V2 here and get off a Defog, as he sets up a Rock Polish, and... You know, this is interesting. I've never quite seen a Rock Polish Regice before. I mean, I bet that it's kind of, I bet it could be a thing in NU, but I, I this is UU, and I've, like, never seen it before. So it was it was really interesting to see. Uh, he goes for a Thunderbolt. It does really good damage. I may have some natural bulk to me, but uh, I don't think I can... T I don't think I can slash want to take two. Yeah, I can't take two. Not at the range of HP I was at. So I'm going to go for a Defog, get rid of the Rocks. Uh, clear Body does thankfully doesn't block the effect. I'm able to go into Cookies again, who's going to resist the hit, and again, thanks to Natural Bulk, I'm fine. And you know what? I am a timid Scarf Rotom. I'm almost positive that I could outspeed that uh, Regice, even if it was um, timid itself, because you know what? Rotom is, what, what is it, like base 86 speed? But anyway, um, I'm fast, I know I'm fast, and I was po I was confident that I could outspeed a slow Regice, even if it was Speed Investment and uh, Rock Polish. Uh, anyway, brings back in the Starmie for the Psy Shock, but I don't care. My Nightmare can take hits for days from this thing, and there's just not anything it can do about it. I'm able to go for the Foul Play, and here I was actually pretty confident about my uh, my situation in the battle, so I felt like playing a little bit recklessly. Uh, he goes for a Super Power, which really, really hurts, but I managed to take it like a champ. I'm not even physically defensive. That was awesome. And I'm able to knock him out with a second foul play as he's going to switch um, into his uh, yeah, bleh, 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 sorry his Crobat and goes for the U-turn. And god dang, Nightmare, you are tanky as hell. And, and I, I really didn't want to like prolong battle here. I wanted to uh, get this done as soon as possible. So instead of going for the obvious uh, wish, I decided to go for the foul play. Keep on the offensive, even though you know it's a defensive Pokemon. But he has a lot of like uh, offensive attacking like a physical attacking Pokemon, so I thought Foul Play would be a pretty good option too. But I'm able to go into my Lilo Puppy, get- ah, damn it, I did it again. I'm able to go into Lilo Puppy, get the Intimidate off, and uh, the Fake Out, I think that was Fake Out, I can't, I don't quite, I actually kind of missed that right now. Either way, Fake Out or Knock Off probably would have done the same amount of damage. And I'm able to get off a Play Rough on his um, Crobat, and again, I don't really see an opportunity for me to switch in the Scramble for it to be useful, so I decided to just go for another Play Rough, knowing that he would Roost. I mean, I could have easily just went for rest there and gone for the uh, sleep rest, rest, sleep talk, and heal bell, but I just didn't feel that it was that worth it in the battle. So I'm gonna, I'm going to um, sacrifice my, I'm going to fodder off my Lilo puppy. Sorry, having a tough time choosing my words this morning, or sorry, afternoon. Wow, again, can't choose my words. But we're back to the same switch, the same situation we were at the beginning of the battle. I'm able to go to my Rotom, go for the Volt Switch, and knock out the Crobat. So now I'm at, now he has the switch initiative, but I can go into my uh, Empoleon. Um, I feel pretty confident about going into Empoleon because I can either sack it or get off rocks or something. He's going to go into his Starmie. Uh, I have no problem uh, sacking my Empoleon here because I can immediately bring back in Rotom and go for the Volt Switch again. Uh, so I that's exactly what I plan to do. And, he's, and knowing this, he's going to pull back into his uh, Scrafty. And just looking at the damage from this, um, I think that another combination of Volt Switch and Overheat will knock it out. So I decided to go into Ozmo Ozzy Jones to uh, pretty much get no to just to get knocked out, to take the fake, to take the knockoff and get knocked out. I thought maybe I could take one, but no, I can't. But uh, uh, I, I, I essentially I se essentially sent it in just to die, so I could bring out Cookies again, go for another Volt Switch. And then, uh, here I really should have, um, went into my, uh, Umbreon because Candle Lamp can still outspeed Scrafty if I needed it to. And, uh, yeah, that was not a good choice on my part. But anyway, uh, Moxie Boosts here don't matter because now I can go into my Cookies again. Because he has two Moxie Boosts, he's not going to switch out. I feel confident in that. I go for an Overheat and knock him out. And really, the only reason that um, I feel that he was not going to switch out was because he already got the two Moxie boosts. I know that if I had two Moxie boosts, I would want to stay in at pretty much at all costs, so I can make take advantage of them. But this actually ended up being his downfall because 
I am able to switch into Umbreon, sack it off to the Scald, and uh, since it is Life Orb and Starmies aren't exactly tanky, I'm able to go for a Volt Switch and knock him out, and that's the end of the battle. So GG Young Slap Sapling, that was a really good game, man. Really good. Usually right after the battle, I say a few words about uh, how maybe a couple more details about the battle or maybe my opponent, but today I want to get straight to the talk of the day. Because today's talk of the day, I want to tell you guys that I'm going to put the Double Dare uh, series on hold until the tournament is over and until I can get back to like regular content on my channel because while the tournament is going, uh, you guys may have noticed that my content is pretty scattered as it is. So until the until the tournament is over, uh, the Double Dare is going to be on a break and yeah, I hope you guys un I hope you guys all understand that. But anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content and I will see you guys next time. Bye.